Hi friends, in this tutorial we will see how to install PyHook in Windows environment. So let's get started. Now in order to install it, the first thing that you have to do is that you have to identify the site where this package resides. So normally most of these packages are in this location. So you can see it says that the unofficial Windows binaries for Python extension, Python extension packages. So this is the site in here. Um, you go so if you go uh, to this site in here you can find there are different packages so if I do a control F and I search for PyHook now in here you can see that there are different PyHook packages uh, for Windows so let's uh, get any one of them uh, for this and in this case I've already downloaded this one and currently it resides on my desktop it is this one PyHook. Notice that uh, previously these packages they used to be in executable. However, nowadays they are in wheel package formats. So you can see uh, the end and dot whl, and these are called wheel files. So in uh, the thing with the dot exe packages, were that you could just easily install them by double clicking on them. However, installing this is kind of tricky. So the first thing that installed uh, to install this, you have to do is that you have to be an administrator you cannot install this if you are um, using it or doing it uh, as a standard user so the important thing is to run it as an administrator and once uh, you are doing it and as a, once you have logged in as an administrator or once you have opened this command prompt as an administrator what you can do is that um, you use this command pip install so first you type in pip a space and then install and then another space after that you type in the name of it and you can see that and press tab and it will just auto complete it for you so in here you can see that um, I have installed I have typed in pipe install and the name of the package and the package ends in dot whl so it shows that it's a wheel file now if I press enter it will install it however in my case it says that the requirement already satisfied what this means is that I have already installed it and one more thing that you have to keep in mind is that uh, when you're installing these packages Keep in mind that uh, you do it, uh, you have internet connection while you do it. For this, I don't think you need internet connection, but for some of the packages you do. So if you keep your uh, internet connection on while you are installing these packages, um, it will automatically download some things from the internet and it will work. Otherwise, if you are not, then you would get some errors and you would have to Google it and just waste your time. So the recommended way is that uh, is to be connected to the internet while installing these packages. Um, having said that, this is it for this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, suggestions, or recommendations, feel free to put it in the comment section below. And if you found this tutorial useful, make sure to share it with your friends. So I'll see you guys in the next one.